Hey guys, today I'm gonna to give you a tour around the free-for-all server setup that you can buy on Built by Bit or Polymart. It's also a good thing to note that you should also use a test server if you can, because it will give you a better preview of the whole server and you can mess around and try everything you want before you purchase. So the first thing you'll see when you log on is this hologram in front of you and the jump pads here. There's a lot going on here. So there's also two leaderboards on each side here with top balances, kills, coins, and skill level. We'll get to skill level in a moment. Behind you is the AFK pit where you can jump in and people can receive five coins every 30 minutes that they sit in here. This is really good for increasing player counts and also rewarding the players for spending their time on the server. And then on the right and the left, you've got a couple NPCs and then at the front, you've got the kits where you hit the jump pad and you can click a kit to use when you enter the arena. So just going around the NPCs, you first of all got the coin shop, which have six categories and it has got player tags. So you've got all these player tags and these player tags are the same throughout all the setups. So if you buy multiple, you can link them all together so you can have player tags that work between servers. You've got chat colors as well, along with some ranks that you can buy. All again, names the same around the different servers so they can all link together really well. You've got particle effects that will stay on your player, pets that will follow you around, and then player glows. It may seem like a bit of a pay to lose, but I guess if you're quite an overpowered player, it could be quite a flex to have a good player glow on your character. And then you can sell coins on your server store to make money off your players. The level system is simply as you play on the server, you can up your level. Currently I am level one with 13 XP of a thousand, but as you play, you gain levels. And then if you do slash level, you can open this menu, which shows you a bit more how to gain XP, killing players, competing quests, voting and spending time on the server. This NPC shows the ranks available. So it shows what's available and what you get for each rank. And then when you click on these, then it will open the slash buy menu when you set up Tebex. Daily rewards allow people with ranks or not ranks at all to get coins each day. So members get three coins per day up to a mortal that gets 15 coins per day. I'm currently opt, so I'd receive all of them here, but you'd only receive up to the rank that you get depending on the amount of coins. There are also playtime levels on this server, just like a lot of my other setups. With this, there are two pages that go up to 300 hours of playtime and level 30. And you can claim these all when you get the correct hours of playtime for it. They give you in-game cash XP and skill XP, and then coins as well that people can spend in the coin shop. You also got your statistics here and some helpful information for players and a link to the store as well. Quests are really good for getting XP on the server. As you can see, we've got playtime, killer, damage, running, and money quests. When you click each one, you can get playtime for one hour. So if I click this one, you can see it goes to the top of my screen and it says play for one hour. And then when I complete that one, I can do playtime two, which I believe is two or three hours. And it slowly racks up to playtime nine. If you've got a group of friends playing on the server, they could also create a team. And this allows you to make a team bank account. Toggleable team PVP, so you can actually team up on people. Team chat. The team bank account is really good because money is used to make upgrades in the arena, which I will show you shortly. And then finally, the skills is one of my favorite features. It allows you to get better and more OP over time. For example, fighting to fight players, and then you get XP and you can level these up and you can, for example, deal more damage on the first hit and all of these slight stat increases. And then the items in your inventory are just skills, playtime levels, quests, and coin shop. These just hop straight to the items so that players don't have to run to the NPC or type the command in themselves. So there's five kits by default on this map and you can right click to enter the arena with the kit. I'm gonna click cleric kit to start with and you'll be given the items in your inventory along with this item shop that you can right click. And in here you can open the shop and buy different upgrades. There's also this amazing arena that is rather large that people can play with. You get teleported randomly in the arena when you select a kit. So just as an example, I've just given myself a thousand dollars so I can go into the item shop. I can go, for example, the melee shop and buy myself a never right sword. I'll just buy one of them and you can see I've given that. There are also jewels on the server. So if you do slash jewel, you'll get given the jewel commands and how to jewel. You just slash jewel a player and then that player will be invited to a duel with the same kits here and you'll be sent into the duel arenas. There's 10 different arenas that you can play in for the duel and they're all rather balanced from each side. Of course, you play, choose one when you select a duel with someone and then when someone dies, you both get teleported back to spawn. So lastly, I'll just show off the main spawn area, which is rather simple. It's all on one island. Of course, you're meant to stay mainly in the middle, which is why there's not too much going on. 
But that is pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching this. As I said before, make sure to host your own test server if you can, because it will really make you get a better grasp of the product. If you have any questions, make sure to join the Discord server using the button on the resource page or the link down in the description. You can use the purchase questions channel to ask us any questions. And then when you purchase a product, you can verify your purchase and gain access to the support forum where you can ask any questions or problems you may have. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.